guys. What's up, Cancer? Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. So keep in mind that the energy can go both ways. This can be your energy or the energy of the person you're dealing with, somebody around you. So flip it how you need to. Also remember, it's a general reading. So just take what's yours and leave the rest behind. If it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that's below as well. Alright, so it feels like you're moving past like a situation. Something like, it's, it's at the initial level, but... It's not easy. It's taking some type of strength there. It's it's maybe, you know, it could be on a personal level. It could be on an emotional level. You have new beginnings that's starting here. But um, it, it's kind of like so much, something displacing is what was coming across. Like the, the pieces are trying to fall into place. But uh, it's not just going to be easy, but they are trying. However that resonates with this situation. It's kind of like if you think of a scale one to two, it's at that two. And that's why we have that judgment there because Ooh, and the seven of swords. Um because there's some type of judgment call that has to be made. Uh I see a couple of sevens. So reflect on where you've been and remember where you try where you have to go or where you're trying to go. You got somebody here who's like spying, playing detective type of energy. You have the Judgment, the Seven of Swords, the Page of Swords. So you could be dealing with the younger air side, but detective-type energy is fine, basically. Show me this Judgment. And it may be because of, like, um, like I said, like somebody who needs to actually... Uh, there needs to be some type of decision made or awakening, like some type of clarification that has to happen. Show me this judgment for a cancer, please. The two of pentacles. Just like I said, a decision. Or somebody needs to become clear on something. Become clear on how you're trying to move forward, where you're trying to go. Like I said, doing that reflection. This is a time where, like, no bullshit wisdom is needed. <laughs> Alright, show me, tell me more about the judgment. Because things are still kind of up in the air right now. They're trying to move, they're trying to grow, they're trying to expand, but apparently something is blocking that. Oh, shit. This devil. You got a stalker here. This could be a person, a situation where it's like one foot in, one foot out. Tell me about that devil, then I'm going to move on. The Four of Swords, the Ten of Wands. This became a struggle. It became a burden, right? Uh, if this is a person, like it's almost like... It's almost like somebody over here has already made like peace with the situation or, you know, it's, it's, um, I mean, it's kind of like a recovery mode after maybe something that like got cut off or something that kind of got put on hold. Somebody also could have felt betrayed around this situation, but it does feel like somebody's trying to make some type of decision, but I'm not sure that they really move too much. It's weird because it's almost like amends had already been made. So what the hell happened? That's where the one foot in, one foot out comes across. Show me the seven of swords, please, for cancer. The seven of swords can be that sneaky energy. It can be a liar, cheater, thief type. But that's, you know, what is that king of wands? This dude. All right. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> but seriously, it could be an Aries Leo Sag, but this is somebody who's very confident, very like, um, possibly very sexual. For some, it could be a married man, but this is somebody who also has like a lot of pride, ego, is not used to, <clears throat> excuse me, um, it kind of feels like somebody who's, uh, and don't take it offensive if you're male or masculine energy, but somebody who's used to get in their way. Uh, as far as when it comes to this situation, because with the Six of Pentacles over here, one foot in, one foot out, kind of playing both sides, maybe like one day there, one day, you know, 
it's it's more so like this can be a situation that's like a lot of fun, but then things never really settle down. They never really become balanced, and that's why the devil is there because there's there's you know it's it hasn't all the way caught, came across as third party. It's just there's two sides to this equation here. But it feels like this person doesn't really know what to do. So at at the moment right now, um. Yeah, they're kind of just watching. This could be somebody who stole something or who just ghosted a situation or is kind of like really breadcrumbing the hell out of things. So when it comes to finding some type of balance in order for, um, you know, it's kind of like one side to be fed, so to speak, like the other gets left out. Shit. The hangman Pisces energy. Show me this uh, page of swords. This kind of with the hangman, that's where that perspective comes in. Look at this from all angles. Um, there you go. Know your work. Stand your ground. Put yourself first with the nine of pentacles. That is a card of being single, but it also is a card of um, kind of turn, like focusing on self. Uh, turning, you know, turning the table so that you're putting you first. The six of wands. Yeah, you're coming, you're coming out as, uh, on top here. Like, especially if you do something online, social media, you're seen in the public eye. That's just like kind of where this person would be. Um, it kind of feels like watching, but at the same time, you have strong stalker, stalker energy here as well. So, um, also, though, for some, like, if it wasn't, like, because uh, it, it did come up as third party, that somebody who just, at least, I mean, it could be, but, um, somebody also may have had, like, some financial difficulties or, like, an addiction or something like that, that, um, so we could also have, like, uh, sexual addictions, drinking addictions. So it kind of depends on how uh, how it plays in with your situation. Yeah, the Four of Pentacles. Um, that could have led to some type of poverty here as well. But it's more so, like, this person's definitely trying to hold on to your energy, trying to create some type of balance. But um, just kind of watching there. Yeah, the Ace of Cups and the, um, the Ace of uh, Wands. So... Especially if you do have like a choice between people or just like I said, how to move forward. There could be like brand new love coming or something that's like an overflowing amount. And there could be something that's more like temptation with that, with that eight of wands, like something that just kind of blows out real quick. So, all right, Cancer, I hope this helped. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that information is below as well. You guys take care and I will see you next time.